Kawhi going to be the one that stands in the way of the Lakers making it to a championship once again? Oh, I hesitate to answer this question because I know what's coming. So I'm going to give my answer, and then I'm going to lay out for a while. And then I'm coming back at okay. you, Stephen A. Okay. Let me just say the answer to the question, does Kawhi have the best shot to stop LeBron, is no. What? The floor is yours. What? <laughs> really? Oh, you know something, Max? Max Kellerman is hilarious. Let me get this straight. The best player in the world. Kawhi Leonard, your guy. The guy that's the best player in the world, Stephen A. Tell me, please, he's the man. It's not LeBron. He's not the king. That dude, Kawhi Leonard, who led the Clippers. That's right. Go hide, Max. Wait a minute. Let me put an APB out for Max Kellerman. Where the hell is he? Wait a get, get your behind back here. Don't hide now. You got to be kidding me. Excuse me, Kawhi Leonard, who just got Serge Ibaka, who still has Paul George. He's got Ty Lue as a new coach. That's right. Show that face, Max Kellerman. Show that face. You got to be kidding me. You're going to sit up here with a straight face? I don't even give a damn about what your answer is. That's right. Ooh. <laughs> I can't believe him. I can't believe you actually sat there with a straight face and said not Kawhi let it. Not Kawhi let it. The season hasn't started yet. Preseason hasn't started yet. The Clippers lost a 3-1 lead. They're highly motivated. Kawhi's got something to prove. Ty loses new coach. Paul George got to show that he ain't going to hit the side of backboards from three-point range. And I love Paul George. So I don't like getting on him. Reggie Jackson has been retained. Patrick Beverly is still there. Serge Ibaka has replaced Montrell's Harrell. You're trying to tell me that you don't believe that Kawhi Leonard, your dude, the number one player in the world, the two-time champion, the two-time finals MVP, that dude does not have the, he's not the favorite to knock off LeBron. I didn't even sit up there and ask you, is he going to knock off LeBron? I said, should he be the favorite? And your answer is no, Max Kellerman? No? Really? Really? You said something just now that explains why. You said you like Paul George. You don't want to get on him. That's the reason. If it was Kawhi on a team built that has a similar strength to the Lakers, that's one thing. It is not. Because his second banana, Paul George, goes away in the playoffs. Stephen A., I, Kawhi needs all the extra credit to be considered better than LeBron. I thought he was going to get it. I thought he was Mr. Se Game 7, fourth quarter. I seen it. He didn't. He wasn't that this last season. And if mm -hmm. he doesn't have that going for him, the clutch thing going for him, I can't put him ahead of LeBron, who just, who's better than everyone else, right? But I thought... Kawhi is a two-way player, plus when you need it most, given his age, everything. I was proven wrong when he went away in the fourth quarter against Denver in the playoffs. However, Kawhi is a beast. Kawhi actually had a great playoffs. Kawhi was the reigning finals MVP heading into the season, his second finals MVP. He's a great player in his prime. If he had another player of his caliber like LeBron does on his team and the proper role players around him I would pick Kawhi to win he doesn't he doesn't you if your second banana they have two superstars on the team only it's really only one superstar and one star who are always waiting to become a superstar but he doesn't do it you brought up hit the side of the rip had the side of the backboard in game, in game seven, right, in the fourth quarter. Side of the backboard. He's so off, he loses confidence in the moment of truth. How can I say that Kawhi got the best chance? Put Kawhi with another dude like him, the way LeBron's with AD. And then, mm -hmm. sure, by the way, Stephen A., even bring in Chris Paul switch teams, right? Bring in a Chris Paul. Mm -hmm. Bring in a dynamic playmaker to make the offense cohesive. I still would have picked the Clippers. They didn't. I can't. So, 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 so just a question, man. So, it's... It's Paul George's fault that Kawhi Leonard isn't the kind of leader that can galvanize troops. It's Paul George's fault that Kawhi Leonard is superstar, as much of a superstar player as he is, walks around with such an indifferent mentality, all about making sure he handles his business as an individual, but doesn't necessarily maximize the potential around him. That's Paul George's fault. Was it Paul George's fault that Kawhi Leonard shot 6 of 22 from the field? and scored 14 points in a game seven after losing a 3-1 lead. But Jamal Murray had 40? That, that, that's Paul George's fault, too? I thought that Kawhi was the elite 
defender. I thought that he was the best player in the world. I thought that he was the ultimate leader. That's what you said. That's what you said. Now, I know you said oops. I do. I understand. I didn't say I understand he was that, the man. I know you leader. said oops. I know you said oops. I think it would have been appropriate. Matter of fact, I got another beef with you, Max. And you know what the other beef with you is? I thought it was an exceptional thing that Bring you it. did right now, just hiding out of the camera. That's what you should have did after they lost game seven. My only beef with you is why didn't you do it then? <laughs> what you doing? Would you save it for this morning? Well, for? I might be slow, but Where I'm was not that stupid. Max Kellerman from this morning that was hiding from the camera, hiding away from the camera? Where was that Max Kellerman after game seven when Kawhi Leonard shot six of 22, finished with 14 points, <laughs> let Jamal Murray drop 40, damn near average 40 for the series, and oh, by the way, all Max had was a oops. You should have been hiding from the camera that day. That's, right. That's my beef. Nah. 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 Look, here's the <laughs> bottom line. Kawhi had a bad game seven. He's had very oh, few man. bad clutch performances in his career. And he's had more clutch performances than almost anyone. Like, whoever lived. Like, you look at how many clutch performances Kawhi has had since he was a 22-year-old before he even knew what he was doing. He wasn't highly touted or anything like that. Since bored man gets paid out of college, just happy to be drafted and all that stuff. He is a very clutch player. Even clutch players have very bad nights. But he picked the wrong night to have a bad night. But what I'm saying is I don't expect a repeat of that from Kawhi. More often than not, he comes through. So then it becomes, what's his supporting cast like? I like Ibaka over Harrell. I think that's a, a marginal improvement, okay. right? But Stephen A., you and I both know they needed a point guard. It's just a position Kawhi plays. Kawhi can well, run well, they offense wanted, they, okay. Hold on. He's an above they average Rondo. passer at this point in his career for a small forward. But he's not right. They, Rondo or CP3 they wanted Rondo, even better. But, but, but they Atlanta offered them about $10 million more. They offered them about money, $10 million right? more. I get it. But, but we have to admit. The Clippers, if they got better, got marginally better in the offseason and didn't get what they needed. And the reason they need more is because Paul George ain't AD. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.